Many things impact whether one business is riskier than another. In this tutorial, we will cover how business type and geography have an effect on assessing risk of a business by looking at business failures. Let's walk through exactly how Demographics Now can help assess this risk. For this tutorial, let's consider that you are looking to own your own business, but are undecided between the type of business you should open. Because you and your significant other have some experience in haircutting and hair fashion, you are thinking of opening up either a barber shop or beauty salon. But you are unsure of which one would be less risky to invest your money in. This exercise requires we compare multiple businesses, so let's first list these business types on a single sheet of paper from which to compare as we progress towards a decision. Let's start by typing in the two businesses we are considering at the top of the page, Barber Shop and Beauty Salon. It's important to note that many things need to be considered when deciding on what type of business to open, and we are only going to be covering two of these factors in this tutorial. The type of business, which we have listed at the top of the page, and the second being geography, which we will list down the left side. For this tutorial, we will identify specific counties in Michigan that we are considering locating the business. So let's list them now, alphabetically. Of course, we could list cities, zip codes, or any other geography we define. It need not be counties. But for this example, let's use counties. This will tell us how many similar businesses went out of business in each area. In effect, this is a helpful measure of risk, since although there may be many reasons why these businesses failed, certainly the location may have been a factor. In addition, let's also add to the bottom of the list the entire United States as a geography. Including the entire United States will give us a gauge of whether the geographies we are looking at, in this example counties, are more or less riskier than the national average. So let's return to demographics now and collect the data for market risk. First, we select looking for businesses. And then enter in the first geography, Livingston, and hit the carriage return, or click on the magnifying glass next to the search box. The screen shows us that there are several geographies that contain the word Livingston, so let's simply scroll down and select the one we are interested in, Livingston County, Michigan. Next, we click on Business Custom Search, and then open up Business Type and Special Selects by clicking on the arrows next to them. Under Business Type, we will use the keyword SIC code, four-digit NAICS filter, and type in our first business type, Barber for Barbershop. Before we click on Lookup, though, we will search within the primary NAICS codes rather than SIC codes, since these tend to be more detailed than four-digit SIC classifications. Finally, we click on Lookup, and then click on 812111 for barbershops, so it then appears in our selected codes box directly below. Next, we click on the Out of Business filter under Special Selects. Note that it automatically will only include companies in business when we select it. And finally, select Update Count. Demographics now returned a count of 14 businesses. What this represents is that there are 14 businesses currently operating in Livingston County, Michigan that are classified as barbershops. To get the number of barbershops that failed since the year 2000, that's as far back as Demographics now tracks business failures, we simply click on the radio button, Companies Out of Business and click on Update Count again, where we see that only two barbershops have failed since the year 2000. Now, let's collect the same data for our other geographies, Oakland, Washtenaw, and Wayne counties, as well as the entire U.S., and then add this information to our worksheet. First, we'll add Livingston County. We had two barbershops that went out of business and 14 currently operating. The math would be 2 divided by the sum of both of these. Why? Because we must first get the total number of businesses before finding out the percent that failed. Next, we'll enter the data for Oakland, Washtenaw, Wayne, 
and finally the entire U.S. Let's return to demographics now and get the data on beauty shops. First, we enter beauty in the search box and click on look up. We then add 812112 Beauty Salons to the selected codes box by clicking on it and also remove Barbershops. And results show 337,249 beauty salons operating in the entire U.S. We switched the radio button to Companies Out of Business. And click on Update Count to get the number of beauty salons that failed, which is 47,001. We complete this process for the rest of the geographies. Note that we do not have to re-enter the geographies since Demographics Now saves the last five geographies used in the drop-down menu of the Geography box. Let's switch over to our worksheet and input this information so we can see it all on a single sheet. First, we will put in Livingston County. We had 11 beauty salons that went out of business and 135 currently operating. Again, the math would be 11 divided by the sum of both of these. Next, we'll enter the data for Oakland, Washtenaw, Wayne, and finally, the entire U.S. So let's take a look at the numbers we have here, and let's place a check mark where the percentages are lower in that particular row, indicating that failures were lower in that type of business than they were in the other. In nearly all of the counties as well as the entire United States, barber shops have a lower chance of failure, hence a lower risk than beauty salons. If we were to choose a particular county to open up our barber shop, it makes sense to choose the geography with the lowest failure rate, which would be Washtenaw County, since only 6.1% of the barber shops opened in Washtenaw County since the year 2000 went out of business. This is over 4 percentage points lower than the national average of 10.2% we found for the entire U.S. If we were still set on opening up a beauty salon despite these numbers, our best choice would be to open it in Livingston County, in which only 7.5% of beauty salons failed. And in fact, this was even lower than the percentage of barbershop failures. In conclusion, from this analysis alone, and many things must be taken into consideration when selecting what type of business to open and where to locate it, we can see large differences in business failures between business type and the geographies they are located in, which we define as market risk in this tutorial. This is very helpful information when making decisions of this type. I think you will agree that Demographics Now has been helpful in making this decision much easier in a very short period of time with solid, credible information that can be included in a business plan or other formal document presented to a banker or a potential investor. One final point, the actual numbers shown in this tutorial will change over time as Demographics Now is updated.